Let's get caught up on this week's videos regarding Mama June being asked, where is Alana's money? Now, it seems Teen Mom star Kale Lowry has weighed in and has some questions. It also seems Mama June and her husband have now responded to Kale Lowry's videos. I'm going to add Kale's video, the original video, the first video. Then I'm going to add Mama June's response. And then I'm going to add June's husband, Justin's response. Be sure you like and share this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Make sure it's highlighted to all. Talk about Mama June spending Honey Boo Boo's money. If you haven't seen the video, go look it up on TikTok. I've been on TV or was on TV just as long as Alana has been with Honey Boo Boo and other shows and opportunity. If Alana's been on TV since she was six, she's 18 now, that's 12 years on TV plus other opportunities that she was probably getting paid for some, if not all. Mama June makes her own money from the show as well as other opportunities. I've seen Mama June on other shows. And I have so much to say about this, especially with being a mom on TV, making my own money, as well as protecting my kids' money. Before you come for me in the comments, I will not allow the excuse that look where they came from, um, because then what's my excuse? Why? Why can I say what I'm saying if I can use where I came from as an excuse? I had no guidance. My mom is an addict and former drug user. I never met my dad until I was 18. Haven't had no relationship. I had no financial guidance. I have made so much money and have nothing to show for the beginning dollars that I made. That at some point I had to make changes. And in this industry, you eventually make connections that help you invest your money, make more responsible choices. You make more responsible choices. And at, ultimately for me, I wanted to see my money grow. At some point I was like, okay, we need to do something about this. Changes need to happen if I want this money to last longer, if I want it to grow, if I want it to double, increase, etc. So that being said, within the last five or six years, I have gotten a very good accountant firm and also a financial advisor, okay? But let's backtrack a little bit. So we're not using where she came from as an excuse, but how are you able to spend 12 or 13 years worth of money when you are getting your own money and making more than an average person who is not on TV and is not in the public eye. Mama June has multiple kids. So even if she's taking a percentage of her kids' money as you know a management fee or whatever, to spend all of it is absolutely fucking insane. When I started TV and Joe and I were already split up, we split up that same first year. Um, he was in control of half of Isaac's money. I'm in control of the other half of Isaac's money. And somebody from the network had to come with us to set up these custodial accounts, right? And so there was one time where I accidentally deposited $1,200 of rent money into Isaac's account. And the way that we set up that account was you can't take money out. So I was out $1,200. At that time, it was really rough for me. But um, that all being said, uh, that's what we did. So then when Javi and I got divorced, we also did the same thing. We split the money in half where he has control of half, I have control of half. I had a financial advisor. So we took that money that I had in control of half and then for Lux and Creed, all of it and invested it. Okay. So the financial advisor took it, did what he had to do. I took it to Javi and I said, here's the evidence and proof of what I invested um, for Lincoln's money. This is where it was invested. This is who I use, et cetera, et cetera. He then turned around and was like, okay, let's invest the rest of the money, the money that I have for Lincoln so that he's able to kind of grow it, hopefully. Mama June started TV with three or four kids. So if she's taking a management fee from all of them and, and ha taking a percentage, to me, invest that, invest your money, invest their money, and even if they can't touch it until they're 21, you're still taking a fee from them, so you're still collecting I just, I guess what I'm trying to get at, and I say all of this to say is like, there had to have been upwards of seven figures. So like six figures into the seven figure digits with the four of them at minimum and the amount of TV time that they've had. This was one of my kids finding out that the other parent took any of their money, I would help my kids sue their other parent, period. Plain and simple. I think too, there should have been more than enough money to do, you know, the plastic surgery, the buying a house, the all the things, doing all of those things and still having money to live and money for Alana to go to college. That money should have been protected, set aside um, in the event that she wanted to go away. And also the fact that she admitted this on TV on a recording, 
I just, I'm very curious to see wh what happens from here. I don't know exactly how it goes to sue a parent, but none of this makes sense to me. I've spent a lot of money in my career on TV and as a public figure, and I still recouped that money and was able to invest and make that money go even further, um, you know, these last few years. So it's very interesting to me that this is what she's saying. And, and you know, I've bought and sold several houses, um, college, cars. I've had multiple more children are not getting their separate paychecks and I've still somehow made all of this work and so I don't understand I guess um maybe she doesn't have good people in her circle that have introduced her to accountants and financial advisors I I, I truly don't know um I would be curious to hear if you know someone from the network set up a custodial account or anything like that um for them it's very interesting I will be curious to see how this plays out hey Kill, I wanted to respond to your video I because you have been on TV. Okay, let's answer this. Let's start back from 2011, October 12, 2011. That was Tyler and Chairs. We did three episodes of, of that with TLC. We got paid nothing. They paid Alana's entry fees, and that was it. Then they came to us with a contract in 2012, and we were on there from 2012 to 2014. Um, and through that time, there was no mention of cooking accounts. Um, it was just a lump sum at that time, and then I went and, like, kind of divvied it up, and then when the kids wanted something, they got it, um, tons of, like, family vacations and just stuff like that. Um, have I ever had a financial advisor? No. Um, have I ever had an investor? No. Um, I've had some people in my circle kind of screw me over with money, and do I wish I had that money back? Most certainly. Um, let's fast forward to Mama Jean from Not to Hot that started in 2015. Um, they again did not say anything about a cooking account. I did not learn about cooking accounts until I went on, Alana went on Dancing with Stars Junior Edition. And at that time, everybody that had been there had been like people on Disney Moms and, you know, some other big time celebrities that have kids. And they were like, well, you only put 20%, the other 80%, you know, you can do whatever. But at the end of the day, you, yes, I could have put 100% in there. Yes, most certainly I could have. Um, but the minimum was 20%. So I was like, okay, was I in my drug addiction? Yes. Is that an excuse? No. Um, so 20% went into that and we moved forward. Um, flash forward to 2000, in 2019, 2020, when Alana went to go live with Pumpkin, um, the show made Pumpkin set up an account in LA, an entertainment bank or whatever. And so Alana wanted to have 75% put in her hand in an account that she could be able to touch the money. But they decided, they talked her out of it, and she only did 50%. So 50% of Mama June from Not to Hot Money, $160,000, is in a Coogan account in California still today. Just like my money in the Wells Fargo's account, $35,000, Alana hasn't touched. So with that being said, Alana was able between 14 and 18 to have $160,000. So that totals up to be like $320,000, okay? That's a lot of money for between a 14 and an 18 year old, but Alana had some bills to take. Alana was paying bills and everything else. And y'all all know she was on her own um, since she was 16. It is what it is. Ain't what it ain't. Hate me if you want to, but I had no say so over it. Uh, at that time, Pumpkin had temporary guardianship. Um, then we did a mass singer, and so her payments would not be delayed. Pumpkin and Alana decided that 70% would go into Alana's hands and only 30% would go into the Coogan account that I had at Wells Fargo, which made it to a total of $35,000. Have I said I'm sorry? Have I said this? Have I said that? Yes, I most certainly have. Even back in July, I told her that I would pay her back the $30,000 even when they walked away and didn't want to hear anything. Um... Anna got very, very sick, and my main goal is was to take care of Anna. And Alana said, oh, I don't need the money. It's just whenever you get the money, you can pay it $10,000 at a time, $20,000, $5,000, or you pay $30,000. And I told her I would give everything to her. Then we had a vacation at the end of February to celebrate Anna in Florida, and we talked about it again. I know I did not bring a cashier's check and hand it over to her, 
But Alana is going to be in town this next week, or supposed to be for spring break. I haven't had the time to go to Colorado, and she has not been back to Georgia since we talked in the end of February. I am going to give her back $30,000. Um, we're going to do it the right way. Um, we want to be able to have her sign something that she has agreed to, saying, okay, every bit of money is paid back, and it's squashed, and everything else. Not just for my protection, but also for Alana's protection and to kind of move forward. I've been trying to move forward, and unfortunately for two years, this has bothered Alana, and I wish that that didn't. Um, I even was upset about that. I was like, if it bothered you for two years, you should have came to me. We could have sat down. Because they got bank statements every quarter that I gave to them, and they knew exactly what was in there the whole time. So, Alana, FYI, has $160,000 of her Mama June from Not the Hot Money, that's in a Coogan account in California. She hasn't touched. She still has $35,000 in the Wells Fargo account that she has not touched. Um, plus, I will be giving her $30,000 um, from the Dancing with the Stars um, because it was taxed. And she didn't make hundreds of thousands of dollars for being on Mass Singer or uh, Dancing with Stars. Both of those were taxed. Unfortunately, our show is ten ninety nine. Um, so if that explains some stuff to y'all, y'all call me a liar, a bitch, a thief. I don't give a shit at this point. Uh, the people who have cash apped her have seen her gifts here on TikTok. Y'all are amazing. Everybody deserves happiness. Everybody deserves support behind them 100%. Um, have I learned a lot through these experiences? Yes, I have. Um, and that is how I have grown um, and I hope with all of this, after it's done, we can put it behind us and move forward, um, uh, because we have been working on our relationship, um, have, I, do I text Lana every day? That's another question. No, I do not. Um, does she text me every day? No. Um, you know, I feel like this, my kids are grown and I don't have to talk to them every single day. She came back from Florida. She had the flu that week. Um, the last time I like was messaging her was like in like the first week in March. But another thing with Dodo sitting on live and talking about me and saying she knows this, well, I'm gonna give you a little 411, and y'all little investigators can do about this. My house was bought in December 10th, 2014, by the Honey Boo Boo LLC. Okay, I was I would use the rest of Honey Boo Boo money for that. Then in 2015, that's when I did marriage boot camp. Um, so, and then we started filming this show, like, uh, beginning of 2016, um, because some hiccups happened. But anyway, hopefully this answers some questions. Like I said, you can dial me in the comments. I just wanted to respond to hers, um, because I know you understand being on TV. I'm so glad that you had guidance, but unfortunately... We didn't have any guidance. We were kind of like throw to the wolves and had to figure this all out by ourselves. 12 or 13 years worth of money. Hello, I would like to formally introduce myself. Um, my name is Justin. And if you don't already know, I am married to Mama June. That's my wife. Um, I want to start this video off by saying, I mean, no hate intended towards you. I respect you as a person. I respect your hustle. You can tell you're a go-getter and, you know, I respect that. And I promise you this is no hate intended. I just, I feel in my heart, I have to set the record straight on some things, you know, and that's what I should do as a husband, you know. Um, so first and foremost, the fact that people will go off of anything put on the internet and make videos saying that my wife spent all 13 years of TV money is fucking crazy. That's what's crazy to me. That's not the truth. Okay. And especially from people that's been on TV that should understand that you can't go off of just every headline or every blogger that writes a story because nine times out of 10, them stories are going to be false and the truth ain't going to be in there. Only pieces of the truth, you know, um, now, what money was gone was from Dancing with the Stars. When Alana did Dancing with the Stars, June had put 20% into a cooking account and kept 80%. Now, if she would have put 80% in there and kept 20, I don't even believe we would be having this conversation because I don't think Alana would have gave a fuck. But the fact that it was the other way around and more than half of Dancing with the Stars 
was out of it, that's an issue. And rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? I, I tell my wife all the time, you're wrong. You know, you should have put all the money in there and you didn't. But the only thing you can do now is fix it and move forward. That's all you can do. There's no point in dwelling in the past. There's no point in bickering and fighting and, you know, losing your not talking to your family the rest of your life because of a little little bit of money. You know, yeah, it's her money. She deserves the money. And that's why I say you have to fix it and move forward. And I will say till my last breath, June was wrong for that. But for the fact that people are sitting here saying that she has spent all of Alana's money, that's very much false. Alana has all of her money from Mama June Family Crisis in an account. Um, and when she gets ready to spend it, she'll spend it. But she, but it's there. Just like she has some of the money from another show she did. And she has a part of the money from Dancing with the Stars. So she does have her money from all these years of being on TV. Um and I hope she doesn't have to touch it until she leaves college. I really do. You know, um, that's what it's there for. But I just don't want people to go around spinning the narrative that, you know, June took every dollar that Alana made. That is very much false. And hey, anytime anybody wants to know anything, hit us up, reach out, find out before you make videos. That's all I ask out of respect. You know, at least just reach out. And if somebody is telling you some some stuff like that or you're getting it from a source, the source is lying because that's not the truth. But like I said, there's no hate intended. I respect you as a person. I just wanted to set the record straight and let people understand that 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 wasn't the case. You know what I'm saying? And that's it.